Back to News Views, I'm Terrell Brown. We're talking about the Great Chicago Blood Drive coming up. It's on Wednesday, January 10th. There are two donation sites. The first is on the seventh floor of the Merchandise Mart. Our second location is at the Drake Oakbrook Hotel. Hours at both locations will be from 7 a.m. until 6 p.m. Our guest this morning, Dr. A. Kyle Mack, a hematologist at Lurie Children's Hospital and a board member of the American Red Cross of Chicago and Northern Illinois, and Kristen Mill. Kristen had a kidney transplant and has had several blood transfusions. So let's talk about exactly what you're looking for at these blood drives. A lot of people would, would ask or think that you're looking for a certain type of blood doctor. Is that true? So we welcome all donors. Yeah. There definitely are uh, donors of, who have certain blood types who are essentially more coveted than others. So O negative, A negative, B negative uh, donors for sure are gonna be um, uh, welcomed. Mm -hmm. uh, we welcome anyone of all, you know, uh, with donors who have. So, so all even blood if you types. don't know your blood type, correct, it's okay to come in. Correct. So one of the great things about participating in these blood drives um, is you can download an app. You can actually have your donor card on your app and know your blood type, know uh, how many units have been uh, collected from you. You can follow the path of those units and kind of keep track of, um, you know, how you're doing, how often you can donate blood. Um, and uh, you, you'll get called, you'll get emails, so you kind of know if there's a shortage and you happen to have a particular blood type, you may be contacted more frequently when there's a need. Uh, what's, what's the general time frame from start to finish right. donating blood? Right, so this is a really important question and I think a lot of concerns for donors. Mm -hmm. um, what I found in donating is by participating in the, uh, with the rapid pass, um, which you can um, have access to when you download the Red Cross Blood app. Now, what is uh, Rapid Pass? How rapid, does that work? Rapid Pass is essentially a way to uh, do the survey that you would do when you present to the blood drive um, in the comfort of your home or in your office prior to presenting, as long as it's the day of the blood drive. So it, in essence, shortens the amount of time that uh, it takes once you're at the blood drive. And these are the typical survey questions to make sure it's safe for you to donate blood, make sure there are no medications that you're on that prohibit you from donating blood, et cetera. Kristen, uh, your message to somebody who can donate but, but hasn't, mm -hmm. uh, or hasn't in a while, right. what would that be? It would be, what I think about is what are you willing to do to save a life? And I think if someone is injured in the room that you're in, Obviously, you're going to jump up. You're a good person. You're going to do what you can to help them. So this takes an hour out of your day, an hour out of your day to donate blood that could potentially save someone's life. You could be a hero to someone. And so that's really a very small sacrifice in the great scheme of things. Even people with a fear of needles. You're afraid of a needle? Step on a Lego. It hurts a lot more. <laughs> so, you know, it takes so little to save a life and be someone's hero. So why would you not jump at that opportunity? Would you say that it saved your life? It absolutely did. Um, my, Dr. Mack has talked about hemoglobin. My hemoglobin was so low, it was dangerously low. It provides energy, it helps you heal. Yeah. And without the blood transfusion, to help get that up and get some of my other numbers up as well and back in a normal range, um, that allowed me to, you know, it's, it wasn't a great outcome for me. I got a transplant, so that's a great outcome. But I wound up having to have a port put in. I wound up on dialysis. But I had the energy to go through those surgeries, to have the port put in. and to eventually get to a new level of health for me. And a transplant helped make that possible. And you mentioned, Kristen, it can help save a life. So, yeah. so we've got the Great Chicago Blood Drive coming up on Wednesday. Doctor, anything that you want to let everybody know before the big day coming up? Yeah, so again, there's a great need. Um, uh, many people are on vacation. It's cold outside. Um, and so that tends to be a time where the uh, supplies are low. Mm -hmm. So regardless of your blood type, come out. Uh, participate, give of yourself, and hopefully um, you'll have a great experience and you'll be able to potentially save a life. Yeah, and don't forget about that rapid pass. Really, really cool feature. Right. Doctor, good to see you. Thank nice you so much, Kristen. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming by. Appreciate it. It's going to do it for News Views on this Sunday. Appreciate you being with us. Remember, you can register for the Great Chicago Blood Drive by calling 1-800-RED-CROSS. You can also go online to abc7chicago.com and click on the link there. The registration code is on your screen. ABC7 Chicago. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Now I'm going to send it back to the news desk.